Hello all, in this video we will see how to display float values onto DWIN HMI display. Here we have 800 by 480, 4.3 inch resistive type uh, HMI display. It has got RX2, TX2, uh, TTL pins to connect with Arduino. We will be using ST card method to download the project file onto DWIN HMI display. In Arduino you know we use software serial and declare RX and TX pins as uh, d3 and d4 and we'll be using a separate power source for the dwin display and uh, arduino you know uh, the dst11 the connection between arduino you know and uh, dwin display is simple rx2 goes to tx of uh, arduino tx2 goes to rx of arduino ground to ground and the dht11 data pin is connected to d8 and the power source vcc is connected to 5 volt and ground to ground we take power source from for dht11 from arduino itself the, in the project design we have two background images in the first image we use uh, image animation from the icon display and we uh, provide a delay in rtc so that after a certain <coughs> time it will land on the first page that is a welcome page automatically in the second page that is a uh, image zero we have three display areas we declare the VP 5000 for humidity and we use data variable and the integer variable type is integer two bytes and the integer digits four and the decimal digits we use as two it is how we use the float values and for us uh, temperature C we declare VPS 5200 and for Fahrenheit we give VPS 5100 same integer uh, uh, four digits and uh, decimal digits are two save this and then generate before that you have to create the ICL file for the background images go to ICL page select the background images and then create uh, ICL and store it as 32.ICL inside the dwin underscore set folder. Now save the file and then inside the dwin underscore set folder we have to copy and paste the 0.hzk which is the font file. This is also very important otherwise you will not get any uh, integer digits display. Now save this and generate. Copy the dwin underscore set folder to the SD card place it on the DWIN display and provide the supply you will see the blue screen of a downloading screen after download you can remove the power and then SD card now let us see the Arduino code here we have used the dst.h header file and then the software serial we declare pins rx as 3 and rtx as 4 and we have used some float variables for temperature temperature Fahrenheit and humidity and we declare the DST type as DST11 and uh, we declare the data pin for DST pin and we start the DST object. Most importantly, we have array of uh, bytes. It has got a 8-bit array. Generally for 7, bit, 7 bytes of data, we use 8-bit array, 8-byte eight array. That is the final array is uh, for null. The array starts with uh, phi a and a phi which are the fixed header bytes header bytes for that indicates the start of the data packet the third element is 0 phi which is the length of the data packet and fourth element is uh, write that is 0 x 82 which is command byte that indicates the data is being sent to vp address on the display the vp address that is the fifth element is used for the vp address only the high byte we use 0 x 52 51 50 these high bytes are used for uh, uh, temperature, temperature, Fahrenheit and humidity. That is the VP address, high byte we use and the uh, final two bytes we use the high byte and low byte for the actual data. Now it is 0, 0 only and, uh, and on reading the data we will replace this in the array and then write it to the DWIN display. Like this we have three arrays. Of data arrays and inside the void setup we start the serial uh, communication and then the software serial and inside void loop we assign the actual reading of the data using the library dht.temperature we read 
and then we convert it to Fahrenheit and uh, assign it to temperature Fahrenheit uh, uh, float variable and then the humidity variable and then we print the uh, data onto the serial monitor of the Arduino and finally we call the function to display onto the DWIN display. In this data to display function which is called from within the loop we convert the float values to integer by multiplying these values into 100. So all these values are converted to integer and the element that is the index 6 and 7 elements are high byte and low byte of the data value respectively. This function split a 16 bit integer into 2 8 bit bytes and then uh, replace the index 6 and 7 that is the uh, element 6 and 7 is replaced by the actual value and then finally we use the dwin serial dot write function to send each array of bytes to the display via serial port with the actual data and it will be uh, written onto the vp address of the dwin display using this dwin uh, serial dot write function we send the actual data to the vp address likewise is we change the temperature fahrenheit values that is high byte and low byte actual value is replaced in the array and for humidity also we do the same thing and finally we use the serial dot write to write the complete array to the uh, dwin display upload the code onto arduino and then open the serial monitor in the serial monitor you can see the uh, display the temperature temperature fahrenheit and then humidity on the serial monitor these are all the float values to check these values on the dwin display power up the dwin display you can see the welcome page and then it will automatically land on the second page here you can see the humidity value in percentage and then the centigrade and the fahrenheit temperature values all displayed as float values if you rub on the dht11 you can see the real time variation of humidity and temperature values on the uh, dwin display this is how we display float values that is we use the variable type as integer and set the decimal places as 2 and then convert the float values to integer and display as real float values. Thank you for watching.